Hi guys, it's Alex here with Recombu, and I have in my hands the new HTC One X Plus. This is the update to the HTC One X, which is of course uh, HTC's flagship Android handset. Um, noticeably on the outside here, you can see it still has Beats Audio integration, still has some key cornerstones that made the One X the device that it was. Um, but also, you can also see this new red accent. This is the only color the One X Plus will be, uh, come in, this soft touch black plastic with red accenting here and here, and also down on the front here, I don't know if you can see that the uh, capacitive keys have also been redesigned with the uh, red uh, rather than white. Um, the user interface is still looks very similar, but as you might have noticed, the carousel now has been reintegrated with a full 360 spin, which is something that they used to have on uh, devices such as the Sensation and then took out when Ice Cream Sandwich landed on the likes of the One Series. But they've re-implemented it with this device, which is actually one of the first HTCs to run uh, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Um, as such, there also are also another few enhancements. If I just head to the applications drawer. As well as bringing back animations and certain things that were removed in the last update to the One X and One S, um, there are additions such as sightseeing mode in the camera, so the same camera as before. However, now you can lock the device and unlock it and it jumps straight into the camera. You don't even actually have to unlock if you have a pass key. You don't need to actually input that to access the camera. You just won't be able to access your photos. It's good if you want to use your phone as a camera out and about for extended periods of time. So it's quite a nice addition there. Um, internally, the One X Plus actually has a lot of improvements. There's a new 1.7 GHz quad-core DEG3 processor plus a gigabyte of RAM, and it also includes 64 gigabytes of onboard storage, so they've crammed a lot more storage into this device, um, along with the 25 gigabytes of Dropbox storage that come with every new HTC One Series device right now. On top of that, there's also um, the user interface we're seeing is actually HTC Sense 4 Plus, and if we have a look in here, you'll have to download it, but this is also a PlayStation certified device. The One X Plus is expected to arrive at the start of October and as of yet we don't have any carriers uh, availability but we'll know soon enough. Thanks a lot.